Pisces, welcome to your general reading for November. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody. But I do do personal readings. My email is in the description box as always. I will be using the Angel Answer Cards and the Tarot Illuminati deck because people always ask me, so I thought I would just mention it first. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscriptions. It really does mean a lot to me and I try to get back to everybody who comments and, you know, interact with you all. Um, you can ask questions with these Angel Answers cards or if you've come to the video with a question, this is what you're hoping to get from this deck of cards here. One has already jumped out, so we'll take it. Ask for help from others. Oops. And we have helpful people and communicate clearly. <clears throat> So like I said, I'm now going to be using the Tarot Illuminati deck. If you're new, welcome. Please feel free to subscribe. If you're old, welcome back. Hope you're having a great month. So let's see here what's going on with Pisces. Ask for help from others and helpful people. So definitely um, somebody needing to reach out for help here. Um, they communicate clearly. I feel like, um, you know, things with this Taurus moon, what was, you know, hidden before is now going to be out in the open. And really and truly here, um, you've just got to speak your mind, I feel, because I'm drawn to... Um, above her head so I feel like you really need to speak your mind but do so you know clearly and kindly here so let's see we have the Prince of Cups so <clears throat> somebody wants to come in with an apology here this is the Knight of Cups here I feel like they want to communicate that they love you, but they're just not ready for um, like a full commitment like a king would be. Um, it's just that they want to apologize. They do love you here. It could also be you, Pisces, that's wanting to offer your cup and communicate with this person that you do care about them. We have now the Prince of Swords. So um, it could have been an air sign that you was dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who was acting quite reckless. Um, I feel like, you know, this is the person who rushes in with the truth, but um, it can be quite hurtful compared to, you know, um, your nature. Your nature is very soft compared to their straightforward, straight talking nature here. Um, but it could have been some very cutting words here. I know I'm going to have a lot of people saying to me, you know, somebody hurt me and this and that. But, um, yeah, it's like they felt like the truth was um, the best way forward. But, you know, here with the communicate clearly, I feel that one of you has a very soft approach and one of you has a very harsh approach. And I feel like you want to communicate clearly. You want to communicate an apology or your love here. And they're just using more of the logic side of things. The Eight of Cups. So this is somebody who, um, you know, wants, to, wants more here. The Eight of Cups is about leaving to find more. But this is a person who found it difficult leaving because this person here is still in the door. So I feel like this person probably left um, quite possibly after arguing, but they didn't want to leave, but they felt they had no option. Could be you because it's cups. Um, or you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer or Scorpio. 
but I feel like they didn't want to um, either communicate and sort things out, but they also didn't want to leave. So it's just like they've snuck off in the middle of the night, like sort of taken the easy way out. They refuse to communicate with you because their back is turned here. Very strong on communication here being an issue. The alchemist. So this is the magician in the other deck. <clears throat> So it's saying you have all the tools um, to get this um, connection back on track, but I feel like you're struggling to get it back on track because of I'm drawn to how he's looking at the book here. It's like you're searching for another ingredient. And I feel like um, you will be able to, somebody has the answer, somebody else has like an answer for you here. Um, but I feel you're trying to manifest them back into your life after they've left here. The Ace of Swords here is sticking out most to me. So again, about communication. The Ten of Swords. So you did feel really betrayed by them. They betrayed you very much so here. And it could have even been words because, again, it's swords here. So it could just be communication and arguing. It's like it all got too much, so somebody has left the situation here. They didn't want to, but they have. It's sort of like they checked out. It could be like checked out mentally so they could still be with you, but um, they're just really not there. They don't want to talk about it and it, it seems like one of you is trying to find a way to communicate with the other. Eight of Wands again about communication. So it's like, it's like a lot of things were said but not much was sorted out. I feel like you will be trying to text them. You may not be getting um, a reply because I feel like the communication's all one way here. So you could be trying to contact them and they're not replying. And it's like, you're racking your brains here trying to think of what to do to sort this situation out. 10 of cups as well. So two tens here. So it is like um, <clears throat> this cycle coming to an end. I feel like you can, you can see, you know, what happiness can lie ahead with this person if they would only, you know, communicate back with you here. It's like you was really, really happy with this person and, you know, something, I, if, I don't, I can't see here yet what's happened, but it's just like communication. It's just poor communication. the star card so it could be an Aquarius there's a lot of um sword energy here a lot of air energy um but I feel like it's definitely your wish um to be happy with them again here and heal this situation you definitely want to heal things with them here I feel like you need to heal yourself first this person could owe you an apology here but when you're together you're very happy I feel like, you know, it's either black or white here. If you can see, um, you know, the extremes of the card, it's like either you're happy or, you know, you're really hurt and or really in your thoughts here. When you're with them, everything's great. And then when you're not with them, it's like overthinking, you feel betrayed. Maybe um, it's not showing because you're not sure because they're not communicating what the problem is here. The King of Cups. So this is somebody withholding the way they feel about you. You you want to know how they feel. You, you know, you might be texting them and asking, you know, are we over for good? You know, are we together? Do you love me? I love you. And you may not just be getting too much back from them. And that may be the problem here. I feel though they do love you, it's just that 
it seems like a little too it gets too much for them and then they just sort of disappear um keeping their thoughts to themselves if you're the pisces you may be able to cyclically pick up that they actually do love you and it drives you crazy that they're not speaking it six of wands so you will have a positive outcome to this situation here it's like you're going through a spiritual lesson here and you will successfully, you know, um, heal from this, have a positive outcome. 100% here, it's like your wish getting granted, you know, I feel like communication will come in and they do love you. I feel like it's more overthinking and that at the moment, not that that makes it any easier, does it? Okay, guys, good luck.